Hi, this is Cheryl, and in today's video, I want to explore the differences between two foilers. I have the tabletop foiler, and I have the Daigle foiler, D-I-E-G-E-L foiler. And I'm going to go through setting them up and using them, and then I'll tell you what I think, and um, you can make your own opinions on things, that's fine. Um, if you love one or the other, that's fine. I, whatever works for you is fine. I'm just going through and I just want to give you my opinion on which one works better for me. And then you can base your decision on wh how you purchase, um, if you're in the market for a foiler, which one you want to buy. So I'm going to go through each one individually. I have the um, tabletop version which is this one. And this one comes with um, the wing nut and different size wheels for the different size width of foil that you have. This is 3 16 This one here is 1 quarter inch. And I have the 7 30 seconds, which is what I'm going to put on this machine today. So we will um, place this unit, this wheel, um, with the grooved part down. There's a little groove in this right here. And it goes on this little peg right here. So it slides past that peg at that point. And it sits on a spring, which is below, down here. So then you put the wing nut on. And just do it loosely at first because you want to put your foil on first. So what you do, need to do is you take your foil and all you do is set it around the three pegs and it just lays there flat on the table. It comes around this way, around this peg, and then it splits the paper from the back of the foil at this point here so you want your foil to go through the split right here and it will remove the paper backing for you as you go and then it goes in front of this wheel and around on your your wheel here so I'm going to trim off this little end and that is all there is really to setting this wheel up. Just make sure it sits down inside when you get going and the foil is tight. It will sit there. So now you want to tighten up your wing nut and I have some glass pieces here that are ready for foiling and what I want to do is set this up so that the glass sits in the center of this ring right here so I'm gonna move the foil here but see how it's way too high here you want the glass to be able to push in to the there it goes it went in nice and smooth and it's in the center now so all you have to do is roll it against the ring. So now we put the tape back and I'm ready to foil this piece. So all I do is sit it on the table nice and flat, push it against the wheel, leaving it flat on the table, continuously pushing against the wheel. And it's that simple. Now I want to overlap a little bit, at least by a quarter of an inch, pull it away, clip it, fold it over and over. Now all you have to do is burnish it. It's ready to go. I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, um, 
a burr here, which I'll have to fix, and then this is going to have to be trimmed off because that will show up in your foot in your lead work. Um, but other than that, I mean, most of the time it is foiling perfectly for me. So this is because I probably just set it up. But that's it to setting this table foiler up. So that's the table foiler. This one, it sells on Amazon for $99, I think. But you can get it through Delphi Glass um, for about $60. So um, I would send my friends there to Delphi to get this because it's ch a little cheaper. There might be some shipping, though. But um, it's definitely cheaper at Delphi if you're going to buy glass or whatnot. It's a good deal. So that's the table foiler, and I, I, I like that one a lot. And we'll move that out, and I'll show you the Degal. The Degal has to be mounted to a wood surface or clamped to a surface here on the bottom of the table, maybe. Like, clamped down here. Um, I just haven't gotten around to setting that up. Um, I have my 730 seconds on this side already set up and I'll show you how to set up an, another copper um, foil um, package on the other side. So I have a 5 16 um, roll so that I would need to use the 5 16 um, point. Now this just twists off and the wheel comes off. Okay? So what you want to do is you want your tape to come out from the bottom. You want to put your ring on and then you want to put your plate back on at the 5 16 point where it shows 5 16 so then you put your stopper back on and that holds the tape in place the tape roll in place so then what you want to do is you want to go over you want to go you actually follow this little dotted line so you want to go over the bottom one, under the top, and then you want to go down, around, and I have to change the wheel out for the uh, for the this size. I'm not going to do that now, but all you do is unscrew it and put the other wheel on. This is a 3 16 wheel. I need a 5 16 wheel. And what you would do is pull the the copper through and over top of this one here so it goes under and over and through between this plate here and then it comes up and that's how you fo I'll use your foil actually I think I did that backwards The paper, the paper goes underneath this, sorry, and then this, um, the taped part goes on top here and over. Pull it through and over this way. Okay, so that's how it's set up. It goes under, over, splits here at this point. The tape, the sticky part goes on top and the paper goes on the bottom and then just foils out that way. Um, now, if you're going to foil something, you want to measure your glass. So on this side, I have the 730 seconds ready for me in silver back. So I'm going to trim off the bottom piece because it's been sitting around. And then what you need to do is this adjusts in case your paper comes up through here the backing paper. You don't want your backing paper to come up through here. You need to adjust this a little closer to the wheel so that it will separate at that point. Now the part that's tricky on this one is that you need to set the depth of the glass 
So you have this little pin that adjusts back and forth and you would have to adjust that um, to the width of your of your glass. So I would place my piece of glass in the center of the wheel, making sure both sides of the tape are exposed equally. A set your pin to where your glass meets it and tighten this up. So for me, um, I have my piece ready to go. So now what I need to do is, um, I will readjust the camera so you can see, but I need to hold my piece perpendicular or straight in line. And if I tilt it this way or that way, it will affect how the tape goes on your piece. So you have to hold your glass up against this little pin and you have to keep it straight while you're turning. And for me, I have a hard time with that. I don't know, I, 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 maybe I just didn't practice with it enough or not, but I really have a hard time with that, trying to keep it against the wheel, especially when I'm turning. It just doesn't work for me. It's, it's wiggly, you know, you gotta keep, well, I, I guess it would be better if I had it on a smooth surface, but, you know, you have to keep it completely straight and you have to slide the glass along the pin and it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. I just don't have, it just doesn't work for me. I, it's, if, if I was to use this, I, I probably would just go right back to doing it without a foiler because it's that difficult for me. I don't know. I just can't keep it straight. Maybe because it's not locked on a table. Um, leave your comments in the bottom. Let me know what you think. But I just um, just don't like this one for some reason. It just doesn't work very well for me. So like this. See, it's, it's too big on this side, too little on this side. I am going to remove that and toss it. I just don't like it. So... For me, I like the table foiler 100% better than the Dagol foiler, and it's just so simple to use. Um, I'll go back to it. I can foil a, a ton of pieces in a very short amount of time. All I do is push it in, keep it against the wheel. And it actually folds the foil over for me. I don't have to fold it over. It's simple. So easy. This is like, to me, night and day. Perfect, right? Absolutely perfect. And you saw me set it up right in front of you. So it's that simple. So my opinion, the table foiler is works so much easier than the Degol foiler. Um, the Degol foiler, you have to actually fold your foil down and make your corners and do all that besides trying to keep your piece perpendicular to the wheel as you're turning against this little pin. So that's my opinion. Um, let me hear what you think. Uh, let me know if you use the Degol foiler and it, it works better for you. Um, I'd like to hear your opinion on that, but for me, table foil, 100%, top, top notch. It works so easy. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion. You are entitled to yours, and um, that's fine. Uh, if you've been working with the Dagol foiler for a long time and you've managed to uh, figure out how it works best, um, that's great. I just don't have the patience for it. And this just works so much better for me. Um, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you uh, are interested in purchasing either one of these foilers, I have links to them in the description below. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.